hello um i'm going to try yet another youtube video thing today is the first day in a week that i've put makeup on because i've had a serious cold i haven't had a cold like this since i was like a kid and it started with like a severe sore throat like i woke up because i had such a sore throat and then it's like moved through my respiratory system a little, I can feel my throat in the mornings, but my brain is actually starting to function. It's not just phlegm anymore. Anyway, so I would like to do a project pan. <clears throat> I have a lot of makeup, more than many people that I know. Um, but makeup is fun and it's my hobby. And like, I have a little makeup corner in our living room when we moved here. My husband's like, okay, that's your makeup corner. I'm like, well, are you fine with it have, being in the living room? He's like, yeah, because I know how much you enjoy sitting with your makeup. And if we're in the same, like if it's in the living room, then I can do other things, but still be with you while you sit with your makeup. And I was like, oh, okay. Anyway, so I realize when I watch people's project pans that I enjoy actually seeing like from one month to the other, what happens. When they're finally empty, I'm like, oh, that's not the move. The ones that I enjoy watching are the ones that are like, this is how much I had last month. This much is now. And just to see the difference, it's so satisfying. I'm like, mm. so I kind of want to do one of my own, but I tried doing something like this last year or a year and a half ago where I chose in a three month period, I chose three lipsticks to focus on, one bronzer to focus on and one blush to focus on. And while that worked, I realized it kind of made me feel stifled. Like I need some spontaneity in my life. I want to be in the, in the evenings like, oh, what do I do tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I also like the idea of using things up. So my plan is to have just a few products that I want to use and not necessarily use up. I've actually only picked out three things, which compared to other like super duper ambitious and amazing project planners, I know is like nothing. <laughs> I can't have too many things because then I'll feel like I have to use, even though I know I don't have to use what's in my project plan, my brain will be like, well, you should use that now. You should use it. You should use it. And it'll stress me out. And again, I'll feel stifled and I want the spontaneity. So the products that I'm going to be focusing on, actually I have one more because it's almost empty, huh? Um, so the projects I'm gonna focus on are this little sample size of a Paul and Joe foundation, foundation primer. It came from a advent calendar. So I'll try to take a picture of it. I know I can see it's like here approximately, so it's not that much left. It's okay, I mean, I don't know if primers do anything. It kind of smells like, it smells a little bit. Oh my God, the little I can smell. It smells a little old lady, but kind of like a sweet old lady, like the kind that would give you cookies, but also knows what, like what lipstick colors to use. And then I'm gonna focus on a bronzer slash contour. I remember I bought this like just in the beginning when YouTube was kind of blowing up in terms of doing makeup, like Michelle Phan, of course, one of the big ones. And then I went into a store and I was like, oh, I wanted, you know, a bronzer contour thing. And she was like, oh, well, this, this is a Clinique clarifying powder makeup, clarifying honey glow. So it's like a powder foundation, I think. And I've actually had to repress it because <laughs> I broke it a few years back. Again, like I said in my first ever trial video, we're not going to discuss ages of my products. If they start to perform strangely slash badly, if they start to smell, they're out. So I wanna use this one. I wanna finish this one before I roll in another um, bronzer. And then I wanna finish this blush. It's from a brand called Etusé. Etusé. And it's the cheek color in the color OR1. It's a really nice, like orangey. I don't think, the thing is, I don't know, my lighting is a bit odd, so it's gonna maybe look strange. Let's see if you swatch it back here. Yeah, I mean, it's a really nice, it's kind of similar to the blush I'm wearing today, which is why also I don't need this one as well, but it's like a nice orangey, not coral, like more orange blush. I really, really enjoy it. 
And then for face products, I have a few foundations and I have foundations that I use and that I like and I would like to get this one used a bit. This is the Makeup Revolution, what's it called? Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation in F1. And I mean, I have a bit left. I also, from the last stick foundation that I panned or that I finished, I know that usually there's like a little bit of foundation left in the bottom here. The last foundation that I used up, I scraped out the bottom. So I still have a little bit on that one left, but that's so little that I don't want to use it in a project pan. So the products that I like to finish are a primer, a foundation, a bronzer, and a blush. Ooh, could this be a thumbnail? <laughs> I have no idea how thumbnails work. Anyway. So yeah, those are the products that I would like to pan. Um, or actually in three of the four cases, I would like to finish them. I think I'm going to put like a use this many times for the foundation stick. Yeah, I think by next month, I think I want to have used it 10 times. Maybe I could do that. So counting from September 15th. So October 15th, I want to have used it 10 times. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go drink some coffee. I've tried to make some iced coffee and I'm going to eat a cookie. Goodbye.